Oh, you go fuck yourself in your fat fucking ass. So if you didn't quite guess it from the intro, this event isn't treating me very nicely. I have yet to obtain a single copy of the new Dark World monster, despite spending a pretty ridiculous amount of hours grinding and even spending about $20 on some extra legendary duelist just so I can get some more keys. I want to die. So because that turned out to be an absolute failure, let's take a look at another new card we got this month. Armed Dragon Catapult Cannon. Now this guy is pretty awesome once summoned. Keywords there, once summoned. As his effect basically allows you to once per turn during your opponent's turn, banish one card from your deck to banish all cards your opponent controls. And on top of that, your opponent cannot activate any card or effect with the same name as a banished card. But obviously, with great power comes a real big pain in the ass, as this card is pretty ridiculous to summon. Thankfully, this wasn't another Zushin situation, and this card turned out to be quite a bit easier to summon. In fact, this video will be showcasing two different methods of summoning the new fusion. Both are kind of bad, but it gets the job done. So the first method was pretty obvious, and was the method I went with first, Ojama. So this combo relies on you activating a jar match during your draw phase by popping your field spell to add and then normal summon Arm Dragon level 3. You can then be sent to the grave to special summon level 5. Now you can either destroy a monster by battle using this card or activate level up to then upgrade him into level 7, which is the first requirement for the new fusion monster. The next step is to get two copies of fusion tag into hand, which is aided by using Keeper as a searcher. Fusion Tag can then change the name of a monster on board to match that of a monster in the extra deck. So by simply activating this card on two of your monsters and selecting both VY and XYZ, you can special summon the other requirement for your new boss, VWXYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. Once you've summoned both this guy and Armed Dragon level 7, you may banish both from field or grave to special summon Armed Dragon Catapult Cannon. <laughs> Now, although we did in fact summon this guy, as you could probably tell from the replay, it wasn't exactly very satisfying, as it could only really happen in the event of your opponent bricking. So I wasn't very impressed by this method, but decided I'd keep it in the video anyway, because I know a lot of you guys like Ojamas and would probably appreciate at least seeing this method in action. So because I wasn't satisfied with this method, I decided to look around to see what other people have done. And that's when I found a video by a guy named Jewel Link's Ace. If you hadn't heard of this guy, you probably should go check him out, as I've subbed to him for a while now, and he does some pretty cool stuff. Basically, he uses Kribos, as they have a card called Saboteur the Philosopher's Stone, which halves your life points to search for a fusion spell, which in this case is Fusion Tag. 
but this is only usable with a Wing Creeper in the grave. I changed my deck list up from Dueling Saces a little bit, as I didn't quite like his ratios, but the combo is basically the same. You activate Philosopher's Stone to search for Fusion Tag, and half your life points, which will then allow you to activate your skill to summon two Proto Drakes. You can then use Fusion Tag on these Drakes to again summon V, Y, X, Y, whatever that card is. Simply tribute off this guy to summon Arm Dragon, and once again activate Level Up on this guy to bring out Level 7, so you can now summon your boss. So the best thing about Ace's method over my previous method is that it forces you to run Winged Kribo, which can basically keep you alive whilst digging for your combo. So if you're looking for a more consistent method of summoning the new card that can all be done in basically one turn, this is probably your best bet. Alright guys, that's it for the part of the video. The rest of the video will be under gameplay, taken straight from my stream that will showcase the decklist in action. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for new around here, comment if you have any questions or feedback, make sure to check out my Discord, Patreon and Twitch down below. And if you happen to have a dollar lying around and wish to support me, feel free to click that join button down below to support me directly, as well as gain access to a few little neat perks. Enjoy the gameplay! Can you play 3 level up? Am I not playing 3 level up? Am I playing? Wait, how many level up am I playing? Only 2? It should be 3. Am I only playing 2 level up chat? No, we drew it anyway, who cares. <laughs> we drew it anyway, forehead. Who gives a shit? XD. Alright, now we have to draw Arm Dragon. We have to draw Arm Dragon and then we have full combo. We're ready to go, I think. Yeah. Just draw Arm Dragon forehead and we're good to go. And pray the Shiranui player isn't playing a billion back row cards. Because he's probably playing at least 50 back row cards, at a minimum. Like every good Shiranui player does. As many fucking back row cards as they can fit in their deck. Oh, that's only one? Okay, that's better than... better than average. Better than the average 49 back row cards. I'll take it. <sighs> Alright, provided there's... <laughs> provided this is not a useful back row card, the chances are very slim. But... Provided useless back row card, we can do it, boys. <laughs> Provided useless back row card, chances aren't looking good. Alright, now we find out. Card games are motorcycles! <laughs> Alright. Are trying to be target? We target the middle one, right? I think. Pretty sure we target the middle one. Alright. Now, this could be... I have a sneaking suspicion this is Void Trap Hole. I'm pretty sure it is Void Trap Hole. <laughs> so, uh, this is probably about to get badish. Is it Void Trap Hole? <gasps> uh, okay. Um, uh, do we banish the back row? Wait, do we risk banishing the back row? What if it's a negate? If it's a negate, he'll use our big monster anyway, so I guess we probably should. Um, uh, we banish both cards. How does the big guy even work? Full pog. Okay. So we tribute you. Summon the big guy. Level up. Swap him out. Summon level 7. And then pog champ. <laughs> we can summon him. Holy shit. He's out of here. Which one do you summon with? Okay. Alright, 
Now we have the option to banish everything whenever we like. Um, not yet, we wait. We wait. What if he summons the level 4 that just destroys our monster when it's banished? We just neck. I guess we just neck. <laughs> The one deck we don't want to banish cards against, we summon it against, of course. He's busy reading the card, he's going, what the... <laughs> what the hell is this monstrosity? What am I looking at? What did this man just summon? Do? Don't summon the level 4. Just don't. Just don't summon the level 4 that banishes my shit, come on. We just did it anyway. Um, it's just a quick affair, I think it's whenever. Alright, maybe he can't activate it? Because he can't activate the cards that are banished? I don't know, we'll see. We're probably doomed here, but at least we summoned it, you know? Ah, so one card to banish. Does it matter? Not really. I don't think it really matters at all. Can you activate it? Might not be able to, because this guy's effect doesn't let you activate stuff that's banished. Oh, we can't! Oh, boys, we're good! We're good, chat! You can't even activate it. Pog! Poggers! Big Pogs. Big Pogs. Huge Pogs in chat. Oh my god. Is this it, boys? Oh, the dream replay. The dream. The dream. Your time is up. The actual dream. <laughs> big craigasms. Big, 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 big craigasms. <laughs> the suffering. Only five losses? Yeah, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Especially considering the other five losses were like... Had like some stuff going for them. It's a pretty fun, like some of them were really close, like one card off or one like turn off even. Like literally if the turn had passed, we just did it. Uh-oh, I'm feeling a Cyberstein coming on. I'm feeling a Cyberstein player. Something tells me this man's playing Cyberstein. Okay, well it's not Cyberstein, so we can go with that. That's good. What the fuck? 
don't think I've ever seen someone summon that card before. Can you summon like a random fusion monster now? Isn't that how that shit works? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah? <laughs> Neo Cyber Ultimate Dragon, huh? Alright then. What the fuck just happened? What this man just summon onto his board? Alright, we're missing one card, right? We're missing one card. No, we're missing two cards. No, no, it's good, we search for one of them. We're missing one card, chat. And hoping this guy hasn't got multiple blue eyes in his deck. Which he might have. He may just attack me a billion times and I die, because he's only got one free card. It's close though, it's one card off. Not bad. Tiki Soul. Come out. A special summon a monster from my hand. I activate a spell. Fuck out, Gombo. I set my card. I set my card. Yeah, there's, there's worse combos in the game, right? He's probably just like a dead multiple attacks this thing anyway, right? Then this one creeper even better, so he's attack again, right? I'm sure Neo's ultimate that dragon works actually, despite making two videos on the card now. Put him greed. Nice. I think this is half life points, not pay 2000. I'm probably gonna use one of these per turn, I imagine. Can I use both? Can I use both? Wait, can we actually use both? Oh shit, we can use both. That's, that's pretty cool. Alright, now I hope the back crow is useless. Use this back crow and it's a pog champ, chat. What the fuck, there's three of you. Uh, okay. Two hundred life points, by the way. So if you activate both trap cards, we just burn, die to the burn damage alone. Just want to point that out that we die to trap card burn damage right now. And he has got two trap cards there. That's definitely two. <laughs> so. Uh, I think first thing we start off by doing is banishing one of those back row cards so we don't die to trap card burn damage. First things first. Not dying to burn damage anymore. Good start. Next up. Summon level seven. You won't escape from me. I special summon a monster. You won't escape from me. I special um, summon a monster. They just banish everything, right? They don't really swing at anything. Do we actually do it again? Is that two in a row? Is that two in a row? Chat! Can we just beat this man twice?
Hey, big brother, can I watch SpongeBob? Shut up, Mokuba. I'm busy flagging YouTube videos to compensate for the fact that I have an extremely small penis. Oh.